We begin tonight with new developments in the case of Scribner versus Scribner. Amid sexual assault allegations against Kern County Supervisor Zach Scribner, estranged wife Christina Scribner has requested a domestic violence restraining order. That hearing has now been postponed until at least early December. 17's Jenny Hu was in the courtroom this morning and she joins us now with the latest developments. Jenny? Tammy, it was a rather brief hearing for the Scriveners Thursday morning. Neither Zach nor Christina Scrivener were present, but their attorneys agreed to that postponement in a matter of minutes. We simply continued the matter for six months because of possible pending charges against Mr. Scrivener. Thursday morning, a minor development in the civil case facing Kern District 2 Supervisor Zach Scrivener. Estranged wife Christina Scrivener has requested a domestic violence restraining order. That hearing is now postponed until December 2nd, pending charges in the criminal case the supervisor also faces. What happens in this matter is going to all depend on what happens in the criminal case. That criminal case is on allegations that in late April at his Tehachapi home, the supervisor was involved in a physical altercation with his children over allegations he sexually assaulted a minor. Christina Scrivener then requested a temporary restraining order a day later, stating two guns were involved and all four children had been home and either heard or saw what happened. The TRO, granted May 1st and served to the supervisor, will remain in full effect, Judge Tanya Richard ordered. Well, he cannot contact our client, Ms. Scrivener, or the children. And he has to stay away. But the supervisor is seeking joint custody, according to a court document filed this week. Neither Scriveners were present, but their attorneys agreed to the postponement in a matter of minutes. Christina Scrivener's attorneys declined to comment on the allegations against the supervisor. Robert Carbone, the supervisor's attorney, declined to speak to 17 News on either case. No personal details were answered, like where is Zach Scrivener and who are the four kids with? As Amiga also says, a six-month delay is normal and that criminal cases can take years, thereby affecting family law cases. The state attorney general's office is reviewing the Kern County Sheriff's Office's investigation into the matter. The Kern District Attorney's Office is hands-off due to a conflict of interest. DA Cynthia Zimmer is Supervisor Scrivener's aunt. Do you anticipate the restraining order to be fully granted moving forward? We hope so. Zach Scrivener has not been arrested nor charged and his whereabouts remain unknown. You can find continuing coverage of the Scrivener investigation on our website, kget.com. Jenny Ha, 17 News.